actually marked her welcome or welcome back to my channel before we get into this video i see you see me so i want to see you press subscribe and become part of the fam bam so i like to give a whoop whoop to melissa brown you were the first one that commented on my page girl when i like first came on youtube and i see that you have commented again on my page so i like to give a whoop whoop to you and girl thank you so much for supporting me so i see you see me so i want people to see you too so today's video is going to be a comparison with pre pooing is it better to pre pool with an oil or is it better to pre pool with just a conditioner with oil in it so this is just going to be a really quick comparison video. So if you're interested in what I think about using just oil as a pre-poo or using conditioner as a pre-poo, then just keep watching. Okay guys, so I have already kind of sprayed my hair with water. I took down my style. My hair has been up for a week. I've always washed on either a Saturday or a Sunday. So I just took my wash and go down and then I sprayed my hair with a little bit of water and I'm gonna go in with this side with using conditioner only now the thing that I noticed about using conditioner um, versus the oil side I'm only gonna talk about the conditioner side first when it comes to detangling and the slip it's a lot easier when you are pre pooing with conditioner only instead of going in with an oil your hair instantly feels hydrated, it feels moisturized, and it feels like your hair has less chances to break or snap when you are trying to either finger detangle or go in with a comb. One thing that I did notice about using um, conditioner as a pre-poo, I use a lot more conditioner when I am trying to pre-poo my hair since my hair is not saturated and fully wet i am pretty much substituting the water for the the amount of conditioner that i do put in my hair but i notice that my hair absolutely love it i have less breakage less less shedding when i pre-poo with conditioner and also when i pre-poo with a conditioner i can add whatever i want to add in my conditioner because it's already a more of a solid form than oil and you don't have to do as much work with um, making sure that the ingredients add in seamlessly. I, I hope I make sense. Like, you don't have to make sure that you strain it if you're using the conditioner as a base when you are pre pulling your hair. So you can just build from the conditioner that's already in the bottle and you can add more nutrients to the conditioner if you need to. You can make the conditioner have more slip. So, the pros for doing a pre poo with conditioner only is the slip is easier to, to detangle and you don't have to get in the shower and add more conditioner to your hair. You already have the conditioner in your hair and your hair is pretty well detangled. But the cons are it's pretty messy if you are wanting to try not to be as messy i guess you can say you probably have to do this in the shower because i do sit on a towel when i'm doing these videos for you guys because conditioner drips everywhere even when i'm doing just my hair regularly there's so much product that kind of slings off and if you have low porosity hair as you can see my hair is white the product pretty much just sits on the top of my hair and that's another thing with the conditioner it just doesn't seep right in but conditioner flies everywhere and it's always best to kind of do this in the shower but since i'm recording for you guys i can't have every single pre poo be in the shower so my thoughts for the conditioner side is depending on if it's hot or cold outside Doing a conditioner pre-poo is really good depending on if your hair is extremely dry and if you're needing more nutrients in like whatever, whatever your hair is missing. If you're needing the nutrients, you can also add it into your conditioner to make a really good deep conditioner.
Okay, so now for the oil only side. I did notice with the only oil side, I had to spray a lot more water to make my hair have a lot more slip. But with the oil only side, you guys, it has every single benefit that the conditioner side has, except you don't get the white cast and your hair almost instantly feels moisturized rather than the conditioner side. It feels instantly moisturized, but it kind of sits on top of the strands and slowly works itself in there. It feels like the oil immediately goes into the hair shaft. I am spraying my hair with warm water if I didn't mention that before. But it feels like the oil actually goes right into the hair shaft and your hair is soft immediately. Um, I am finger detangling. It made finger detangling a little bit harder just because the oil don't have as much slip as a um, creamy conditioner have and I'm using my homemade DIY oil um, I will leave that video down below for you guys but it had a lot more moisturizing factors which kind of shocked me like with instantly feeling my hair just suck up the oil so like I said I noticed I had to put a lot more water in my hair just because I am using an oil and cream conditioner already have a lot of water in it and just using an oil don't have water in it obviously but I know you guys are probably like water and oil don't mix but I am actually working that mixture into my hair like really really well like the water and the oil and I noticed with doing this I can actually get to my scalp a lot better sorry if you guys can hear my son but I can get to my hair a lot better better when I am doing a hot oil treatment or doing a pre poo with uh, oil and also I can massage my scalp a lot better and I don't feel like I'm clogging my pores when I'm going straight in with an oil you guys but the only thing that I would have to say about the oil once again is the mess and if you don't want your clothes to be messy if you're doing a oil pre poo you probably don't want to go in with a lot of oil or you don't want to go and put on a shirt after you do an oil only pre poo depending on if you're going to leave it in or rinse it out but even after I washed my hair I still kind of felt like the left side of my hair was a little bit more greasier than the right side of my hair so it's just pros and cons to what you're necessarily wanting to do with your hair um, if I'm doing a hot oil treatment and I'm needing my hair to be extremely soft I would actually probably go in with a hot oil pre poo um, before I go in with a conditioner but if it's summer outside I will probably go in with a conditioner if it's winter outside I will probably go in with a oil just because my hair wasn't dripping wet and I could put a plastic bag on my hair and I got like really the same results and my hair wasn't way down or heavy using the oil so I really enjoyed both of them for their own individual reasons so like I say before you really have to just listen to your hair do what your hair loves um, do what your hair like, do what your hair is asking for at that moment, and listen to your hair. I say that all the time, like just listen to your hair, and I promise you, you won't go wrong if you do that. So here's just a comparison. You see, you can actually almost go out the house with the oil side, but with the conditioner side, you probably wouldn't want to be walking around like that. So just a comparison, you guys. Um, let me know down in the comment section if you try out this comparison between oil and um, conditioner okay guys so that wraps up how I felt about the leave-in or the leave-in conditioner I call it leave-in because main and tell you can leave it in or you can rinse it out but that's how I feel about the oil or a conditioner and I really hope you guys give this a try like just to see what your hair do and don't like is a really nice way to like test it out just do half of your head 
with one product, half your head with the other product, and then your hair will most definitely let you know what it do and don't like. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!